Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Judges, Respectable All Commit Exile and Kudus English Competition 2020, and all audience whom I respect. First of all, let us rise and thank the presence of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, the Lord of the world and the creator of everything in the universe, and for the abundance of prayer and the joy of all until we can still gather in the good situation and condition without any barriers at all and in good health. For the second, salawat and greeting Jason our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who has brought us from the darkness into the lightness. And happily we all get the initiation on the end. Amen. And the last but not least, I would like to thank the committee and the judges for giving me very special opportunity to confident this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you today? Okay, my name is Fatina Aliza. In this occasion, allow me to stand in here to deliver a couple of sentence speeches that I will tell you about environment, human threat, and all issues. Ladies and gentlemen, as the facts may have been gifted to the mind and conscience, it is fitting for us as humans to be grateful for the blessing that Allah has given. The universe and everything in it is a gift that we have to protect vulnerably and manage the sense of responsibility. Humans are endowed with human rights to guarantee their own human rights and of course for the harmony of their environment. And then, what is the relationship between environment and human rights? Okay, let's discuss. As an Indonesian nation, it should be proud to have Pancasila. Pancasila is the basis of this state, whose content have been regulated in such a way as you think when in society. And of course, regulate all their human rights completely. And what should we do? We must apply them in our daily life. Article 28 of H, paragraph 1 of 19 and 45 constitution affirms everyone has the right to live in physical and spiritual prosperity to have a place to live and to have a good and healthy living environment and to obtain health services ladies and gentlemen ironically the phenomenon of natural destruction is blind in society the environment which was originally beautiful is tainted with environmental damage in several areas and the severity of the damage often involves violence and nonsense people. We are all like the viewers who are presented in the film in the form of conflict of land and natural resources that have occurred in various regions in Indonesia. Agricultural land, which is the only support for life, have been taken away for economic and business purposes. In the name of development and free trade, government and transnational companies continually taking over the nature. Land, forests, water, all gone. Is the right to life in physical and spiritual prosperity fulfilled here? Not at all. Besides that, like land grabbing, affection, destruction of natural resources, intimidation, violence, and other bad things are human rights violations which are very unfair when it must be felt by innocent people. Where can we live if the nature is damaged? And what will we eat if the crops are gone? Think friends, what would happen to us if the nature swore? Guys, we are the young generation of the Indonesian nation. The future of Indonesia is our hand. Let's protect and save our earth. That's why we respect human rights. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, that's all for my speech. I do apologize if there are mistakes in my speaking. Thank you for your attention. And see you next time in my own issue. Goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.